linear combination, means to multiply vectors by the constants, and add the results up. We can express a vector, as a linear combination of other vectors. Consider the vectors, a, b, c, and d. If we scale the vector a by 2, and scale the vector b by 4, we can express c, as a linear combination of a and b. The span, of a set of vectors, is a set of all their possible linear combinations. From the previous example, we saw that it is possible to obtain c, by linearly combining a and b. This means that a and b, span c. However, it is impossible to linearly combine a and b, to obtain d. So, a and b, do not span d. A matrix that has columns, which can be obtained through the linear combination of its other columns, is said to have linearly dependent, or redundant columns. Matrix with linearly dependent columns, is called a singular matrix. The upper matrix on this slide, is a singular matrix. We can obtain the second column of this matrix by scaling the first column by 2. In the bottom example, it is impossible to linearly combine columns to obtain other columns. Hence, this matrix is said to have linearly independent columns. Earlier in the series, we discussed the properties of an inverse matrix. It is important to add, that not all matrices have an inverse. For a matrix to have an inverse, it has to be a square, non-singular matrix. In other words, for matrix to be invertible, it needs to have an equal number of rows and columns, and has to have linearly independent columns.